Hello and welcome to another video tutorial. Today I'm going to show you how to record your screen with internal audio, which can be very tricky on Mac. But we are going to do this with QuickTime in combination with Blackhole, a virtual audio driver, a very good one, and it is free and does not leave a watermark. So, let's begin. We will go to this page, which I have linked in the description, and you'll scroll down and press Download Installer. Doing this will redirect you to the page for Black Hole, where you will write in your email address, first name and last name. I will do that now. And then you'll press subscribe for a free download. And within a few minutes, you should get an email. Ten seconds later, I got the email and I get a link to download Black Hole. So I press the link. And you now have options to download different um, Types. So the one you won't download is the 16. It is downloaded. And here is the installer. And now it is done, so I close it. And I, of course, move the installer to bin. And now I should have black hole. We will go up to the upper right corner and press the magnifying glass. And you'll search for audio MIDI setup. You'll press it and you'll see this. And this is an already pre-installed application on your Mac, so don't worry. You'll press the plus sign, create aggregate device, and you'll rename this to QuickTime Player Input. Then you'll choose the Black Hole 16 channel and press that. And then you'll press the plus sign again and create a multi-output device. We'll rename this to Green Record with Audio. And built-in output should already be um, in use. So you will um, press Black Hole 16 channel again. Now you have both. And it is very important that the master device is built-in output and not the other way around. Black Hole 16 channel should be built-in output. If it is not built-in output, then you will not hear what is going on on your computer, on your screen it will be completely silent. You'll first hear what has been going on when you watch the recording when you're done. Of course, you want to be able to monitor that while it is happening. So therefore, have built-in output as the master device. Go up here to the upper left corner, click on the Apple sign, go to System Preferences, and go to Sound. Now you'll see that you have a bunch of options for output, and this is what you're going to go to. And instead of headphones or internal speakers or whatever you may have connected, you will choose screen record with audio. And now you're going to go to QuickTime Player. Um, but because I am right now recording with QuickTime Player, I will show you the rest with the pictures with audio over them. So now what you will do is that you will go to the um, upper right corner and press the magnifying glass and search for QuickTime Player or find it in Applications. However, you will open it and you'll find it in the dock. As you see here in the bottom right um, corner of the um, dock, you will see that I am hovering it. Do hover it and right click it. Then you'll have the option to um, do a new screen recording, which you'll do. Now you'll have the option to record the entire screen or a selected portion of the screen. What we're focusing on is the options. So you press options and you'll see at microphone that the selected microphone is the built-in microphone. But when you're recording your screen with internal audio, you're, you're instead going to choose QuickTime Audio Input. And then when you want to record, you simply press the record button. It is imp important to um, note that when you have screen record with audio as your output, you will not be able to change the volume of uh, the sound com coming out of your computer. 
and you can change this by going into um, headphones again or internal speakers and changing the volume. But when you go back you'll not be able to change it. This can seem kind of clunky and kind of dumb, but that is how it works on Mac, however you do it. Um, but now you should be able to record your screen with internal audio, which I will show now. So, now you should be able to record your screen with internal audio on Mac. If this video helped you, then please leave a like, and if you have any questions, then post them in the comments. Thank you for watching.